Awesome hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with my review of the Deluxe Grim Sanzo and Himiko Icon set. Our first triple icon set, possibly our only one. Uh, just kind of a unique set all around. Um, starting off with, reach far, uh, the packaging, which is pretty unique because it's not the clear packaging we're used to. It's this enclosed packaging. Shot of all three icons, uh, shot of the three forms. Shows that it works in both the Ghost Driver and uh, the Necrom device. Shows these three cards here it comes with. A uh, pretty cool shot of Necrom's forms over here. Um, Ghost and Ghost Himiko, or Token Boost Ghost, and then Ghost Himiko here. And this shows you how it works in it. Um, it's just pretty neat little packaging. It's like this little special set going on here, which is kind of like an oddball set in terms of picking. I mean, you got the two Grim ones, and I guess, or Grim, uh, Necrom ones, and I guess they couldn't figure out what to package Himiko with. So they're like, hey, this debuted around the same-ish time. Let's just throw it in there. At least they didn't make it a premium exclusive or something. But so anyway, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at these. So here is the Grim icon. Unlike Necrom's other icon, this is pretty much par for the course icon stuff, other than the fact that it's got a more necrom -y symbol because it's his form. Uh, the, the typical stuff, though, you have this little attack picture, um, what I call the camera eye, and then the number, and all that stuff. I'm going to go to the number because that's what we're going to be using. And then on the top here, it says 14. The Grim, still, icons are pretty neat looking, even though they don't do much. Um, kind of got this neat green sparkly effect on it. And then here we have Sanzo here, which also pretty much the same thing. It's actually kind of a neat, like, white sparkly color, so it looks kind of neat there. Um, but you got all, all of its typical icon stuff to cycle through. Back to the number, 15 Sanzo. And then you have Himiko's here, which is ghost, so you have a more ghost-like picture there. I use such technical term in my reviews. So yeah, you get that. So they all three technically work in both drivers, but only these ones are going to have unique sounds for both. Uh, let's do the Ghost Driver first, and I'm actually going to start with Himiko since that's like that's her jam, because um, the Himiko jammed. Boom, Parks and Rec reference achieved. Um, but so is this thing on? Yes. So let's go ahead and put it on in. Alright, so you got that. Now it's attack noise. Alright, so that's what it does in there. Let's go ahead and bring it on out. Let's do Grim, since that debuted first. Alright. Alright, so that's it for Grim. And we will do Sanzo now. Whoops, all at once. It's got a pretty cool jingle.
All right, so that is it for the ghost driver functions for all three of these. Now we can bring in Necrom's. Okay, so here is Necrom's device. So let's go ahead and do Grim and Sanzo's first, since that's the only ones that actually really matter, because they're the only ones that really have new noises. So let's go ahead and do Grim. Is this on? Yes. Okay, just making sure. And that's pretty much all it does. It'll just do that again. So I'll check it out. Now we shall do Sanzo. Okay. Alright, so now I'll just show it real quick, but Himikos will make the same default noise you use when you put any non-Necrom ghost icon in. So, I won't even say yes sir to you, it's just very rude. But hey, at least it can do something and it doesn't just make like an error noise or something. I don't know what it's life would be like then. But yeah, that's pretty much it. These are all on different thingies and it's going to bother me. The numbers and the pictures are okay. Anyway, so overall, usually with these icon reviews, I start losing my voice and turning into Gasha. Um, but uh, it's kind of like a personal preference because all the icons are usually the same quality. And, you know, it's just basically about which ones you like more, what noises you like more, all that shenanigans I always talk about. Um, but with this set, I actually can give more of a... A clear recommendation just because um, depending on what you're collecting in the ghost line you get a lot out of it I mean obviously you get three icons they are all pretty neat looking but if you you have both uh, transformation devices from the line um, it really adds to what you can do they all three work with for unique sounds in the ghost driver which is always a plus add more sounds to your driver and you get the two um, grim icons for his other forms so that adds to uh, your collection for your Necrom device since he only really has his uh, if you just have his device by itself. And then Himiko's does work in it, it doesn't do anything different. But still, um, if you have both devices, I think this is a worth it set to pick up because it adds new sounds for you to use for both of your devices. But anyway, that's about it. Until next time, make sure you have the crazy podcast at writersrangersrambles.com. And of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, Dawson Writer, signing out.